Hey Capricorn, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. Taurus and Cancer, bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer. You have those placements in your chart. But I hope you guys are doing well. Um, please remember to click and push the rose and just take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit. This reading is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Please be aware that there are scammers down below in the comment section pretending to be me. So if the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me replying back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also obviously not me replying back to you. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So let's see, Cappy. Let's see what's going on with you all. What's going on for my Capricorn spirit? Clear and concise messages. Please return any spell work. <clears throat> any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender so let's see what's going on happy what do you guys need to hear and know at this time what's going on for capricorn spirit okay clean slate do over resolutions okay different hmm Okay, so, okay, masquerade games in reverse. Okay, that's what I was getting. Bottom of the deck is materialistic, depression, anxiety, nightlife, groupie. Okay, so that's a third party. <laughs> For some of you, this is, if it's not a third party, this is your person. They've dealt with a third party like this. Well, I just contradicted what I said, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, if it's not a third party involved, well, I guess either way, it'll be a third party. For some of you, this is actually the person that you've been dealing with, a karmic that you're realizing the difference about with different you're, you're seeing this person is childish they're just very materialistic they're superficial so you don't want to have shit to do with them and you're moving on but for a lot of you i keep getting third party so someone is waking up here their behavior is changing with clean slate do over different and masquerade games in reverse i feel like somebody is different now they've changed okay they're not playing the same games that they were or they've gotten rid of somebody that were playing games which kind of like altered how they uh dealt with you capricorn at one point in time okay i feel like somebody's mask could be falling off as well their mask is falling off they're seeing how different you are compared to everybody else in their life or in their little world <laughs> okay and they like what they see i feel like i'm, get, I'm getting that with this energy so let's see, clean slate, do over, different. I mean, clean slate, do over, resolutions. What is that card for Cappy? Something has changed someone like major. <laughs> okay, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like something has been blocked. Somebody's finances has been blocked until they get or, or has gotten themselves together. Okay, you could be dealing with another Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. All right, um, somebody could have had to sacrifice some things, a car, money, a home. Um, so I'm getting divorced. Some of y'all could be going through a divorce, but somebody has had to sacrifice something to have a clean slate in their own life, okay? And it could be finances. Somebody maybe was binding some, to somebody financially maybe, or you were in a, in a contract and I feel like, you know, you had to give something up in order to to live a better life okay and be a be a better person what's clean slate with the do-over i mean clean slate do-over with the ace principles in reverse uh, yeah king of cups scorpio energy okay the devil i don't want that card to show because it's naked so i'm gonna put it there but three of cups the knight of swords and the king of cups yeah someone could have a cancer mercury placement someone here could be a gemini a scorpio yeah so this is someone here that is taking action. They're having the courage here to take action and do something here. I feel like something has just been delayed. I don't feel like it's lost, but it's been delayed. I feel like somebody has lost a lot of money, yeah. Or somebody had to give up something to be more grounded and stable in their life internally. It could be within their emotional state. All right, um, somebody is following their heart here versus whatever else is material so some i mean because it said materialistic so whatever this is they had to give something up here period um this could be somebody that does have feelings for you capricorn they really care about you they love you they could possibly want to reconcile with the three of cups this could be them rushing in to do so this person could have kids or you could have kids with this person but 
I feel like someone now is taking action in their life here with the Knight of Swords. This could be a conversation coming in. Somebody wants to speak the honest truth to you. They could be quite impulsive or they're just, I don't know, they move very quickly when they do certain things or this is just them just having the courage to come to you with something. Let's see. What's the King of Cups? The King of Wands. Leo Energy. This person could own a business. They could be an entrepreneur or this is you. Somebody is trying to balance their ego out with, in their emotions. I feel like this person could have been very egotistical. They're more in their heart space. Somebody has had a heart chakra awakening. This person is now very confident and going towards their passion, whatever they're passionate about. I feel like this person is passionate about you. <laughs> Let's see who's the king of cups with the king of wands. Because I feel like this is the same person. It could be two different people. Okay, yeah, page of swords. So I'm getting um, watching. Somebody here is watching you. They could be planning or strategizing on how to come towards you to express something or say something that's on their mind. I feel like somebody is learning how to communicate, speak up for themselves, stand up for themselves here. This person is learning. They've learned something. They've educated themselves about something. They've picked up a new skill. It could be an internal skill or external. It could be both. This person could be in school or you could be in school. Some of y'all are getting ready to do something here that you love to do. You're getting ready to hone into um, a study of some sort. And this could take off and turn into a business for you. What's the Knight of Swords? But this is, I feel like this is this person watching you. What's the Knight of Swords? Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody has left the past behind. Somebody has grown up. They've matured. Could be a Scorpio. There was something that this person, somebody had rose tinted, a rose tinted view of the past. Okay, they couldn't see something clear about their past or where they were at. Somebody could be moving away from their hometown as well. But this is somebody being more bold, having more fortitude here, pushing through adversity, kind of like things, what I'm getting. Speak, definitely speaking up for themselves, regaining their power and taking back control of their life. Somebody has matured. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could have also completed therapy or um, some sort of like counseling as well. This could be rehab that somebody has completed. They're, they're graduating from that. Or this could be school that somebody is graduating from as well with the Six of Cups in reverse. But I'm seeing someone leaving the past behind, though. They're they taking off. What's the Three of Cups? Yeah, this could be you or this could be someone else. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Your hard work paying off. Virgo energy. Yep, the world. Yeah, so somebody here has great work ethic, a lot of ambition, very goal-driven. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. This could be a boost in your finances. I feel like things are coming in slow, but I feel like you're just, you're you're congratulating yourself for how far the truth came thus far, uh, Capricorn, or this is your person doing this. Some of y'all could be getting some sort of like raise and promotion or just a level up in your life or it could be in a career or something like that. I feel like someone here is very loyal, very responsible as well. This could be an offer. Somebody wants to reconcile with you and give you something stable and secure. So they're working hard to do this. They're working hard with, you know, letting go of the past and things that they need to let go of to have a stable connection with you is what it looks like. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? And this offer could have taken some time to come in. But I feel like somebody, yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy. So the Knight of Cups in reverse definitely talks about somebody being insincere with something. Obsessive, possibly, or somebody causing trouble. Yeah, there was a troublemaker in the past. Somebody being emotionally manipulative. So maybe that's why the King of Cups is here upright because somebody is learning how to come out of some sort of like emotional abusive, emotionally abusive situation possibly. This person could have been scared to confront you about something or they're not. Yeah, somebody's like non-confrontational. And because of that, it has, yeah, the hermit. There needs to be inner work being done in regards to that. Somebody could have been a people pleaser. 
um, a lot of trauma that somebody was not working through and they could have been in a, in a wrong environment is what I'm getting, which cost them a lot of money, a lot of their stability or something like that. Nine of Cups in Reverse is definitely bad news. Somebody's intuition was blocked. Their creative energy was blocked as well, which cost them. But now somebody, somebody is... realizing what is um blocking them okay and blocking their finances i feel like um yeah this person they could have been like a player in the past or something like that but i feel like it's just stems from something from their childhood this person had trauma or something like that what's different what's different i don't feel like they're a bad person either Okay, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is different because they're evaluating themselves. They're reassessing things before they start moving and taking action and doing this and that. I feel like they reassess things. They they look into themselves to find the answer. Seven of Pentacles, self-evaluation. Somebody reads the fine print. They look at people's character now. They don't look at what they look like on the outside is what I'm getting. Somebody's favorite color could be blue. Somebody could be a crip. Somebody could have been in a gang before. Okay, that's what I'm getting to. Yeah, somebody is seeing a difference now. Or you're going to see a difference in somebody's behavior. Someone could have a Taurus Saturn. Somebody's hard work here is going to pay off. Okay, the hard, your hard work here, your dedication is going to pay off. You're getting ready to reap the rewards of your the seeds that you've been planting here. What's different with the Seven of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles, yep. Somebody is learning how to be patient, too, and take their time doing certain things. Yep, Four of Pentacles. It kind of like came out in reverse, but it came out sideways. So something here, yeah, about money. Okay, someone could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, another Capricorn. This is you, Cappy. But yeah. Someone here is learning how to save their money. Someone is saving like big time. This person is working or you're working a lot. This is your energy right here, Capricorn. You know, y'all don't play about your money. So I'm getting a new job, new employment, a creative endeavor or some sort of creative project or hobby that you do on a daily. You could be turning it into a passion of yours or you're realizing that this can make you money because you're really skilled at it. I'm definitely getting self-control too. Somebody is very much disciplined and, and having more self-control over what they do and how they maneuver in the world. Someone is learning how to hold back. Someone is someone's self-control is much, much better. Yeah, this is like self-mastery. Somebody has picked up a skill here. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, ten of swords. Yeah, they someone could have a, a someone could be a Gemini sun sign. Yeah, I was getting divorced. The Ten of Swords is a divorce, but this talks about the ending of a horrible situation. Um, definitely somebody has stabbed someone in the back a lot of times, okay? And I feel like this last stab in the back has really um, pushed this person or pushed you into a state of um, going within to learn more about yourself here. Someone was not seeing something clear. Yeah, the High Priestess, something was hidden. Or somebody now is listening to their intuition because what they see on the outside is different from what they're getting conscious. I mean, in, in their subconscious or whatever. You know, what they're seeing intuitively, put it that way. Yeah, so now somebody is reviewing. They're self-reflecting. They're looking at their investments now and how long they spent in some sort of like connection or in a toxic job or whatever this is. Could be both. Yeah, three of pentacles. So what's the eight of pentacles here, spirit? But the worst of a situation is over yet. Yeah, someone is definitely getting a new job. They're making more money or this is you. You're going to be making more money here, um, Capricorn. Someone could have a Taurus moon. So I'm seeing a uh, reciprocity, equal give and take. A gift. Somebody could be saving to give you some sort of like gift or you're just gifting yourself. You have the money to spend or you have money to give back. This could be charity. Someone could be thinking about opening some sort of like organization or starting something here of their own, inventing it. Somebody could, be, could have betrayed you in regards to a business here of yours or a job or something. 
but I'm seeing equal give and take reciprocity things balancing out with your money your career your your life as far as your money goes for sure uh Capricorn or this is your person this is what they're planning to do they're, they're getting their life together what's the yeah the hangman looking at things from a different perspective what's the um four of pentacles nine of wands yeah someone could have a Sagittarius moon placement so yeah something has been like an ongoing battle here or there's been like an ongoing battle with learning how to, there's something going on with someone's finances they're learning how to distribute their money differently or manage their money differently or if it's not money it's learning how to invest what actually deserves your time your energy what you can what what can you actually build upon is this a situation that you can actually build upon can you build with this person can you work with this person blah 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 that type of thing nine of wands upright is a lesson being learned because somebody now is being protective or they're guarding something or they're just taking better care of themselves put it that way yeah moving forward yeah eight of wands six of wands and the justice yeah yep the lovers this could be a connection coming together for some of you this is your divine masculine they're getting their shit together honey <laughs> like for real like major but um <clears throat> yeah somebody here is learning how to fight back stand up for themselves um they're learning how to dish distribute their energy in different ways what deserves their energy and what does not like you know so that's just nice what's masquerade games in reverse Yep, the star. I'm going to turn that over until I get something to cover it because I don't want them to age restrict y'all's reading. Yep, the Empress, the Eight of Cups. What else for the star? You could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp here. Capricorn Aquarius cusp, rather. What's the Masquerade Games in Reverse with the star spirit? Okay, Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is learning about their independence. Someone could have a Scorpio Mars placement, Virgo Venus. Some of you all could be seen in a public eye or you could be dealing with someone that's seen in a public eye or this person or you. One or the other is meant for stardom, fame. Okay, damn. The Queen of Wands flipped in reverse. <laughs> um, so someone here is healing. Okay, this person, if they were playing games at first or if they were like in this energy where they were in and out, back and forth, whatever, this person is becoming very like in tune with themselves here. I'm seeing a renewal being more optimistic, being more positive, having faith, okay? And it's because of their independence. They're now free from something. There's some sort of like behavioral pattern or somebody that they were dealing with that was projecting onto them or, or you or something like that. But someone now is free. There's a wish here that's going to come in. I feel like after a time period of healing and transitioning, okay, someone is definitely very creative and innovative. This person could have a lot of ideas. Somebody is very like... They have a spiritual side to them too that you know now that they're they're tapping into okay now that, now that they're able to tap into rather yeah the death card let's see what's the star there's a wish here a wish is being granted somebody is praying a lot more and everything okay yeah seven of swords somebody is keeping their creative endeavors or whatever they're trying to do here to themselves that's what i'm getting okay someone can have an aquarius moon Someone is that they don't want to be detected. So they're planning or strategizing something here silently. What's the seven of swords? Yeah, three of pentacles. Okay, five of wands. So this could be someone trying to go against something that's destined to happen here with the star. This is a good omen, good fortune, things turning out in your favor, a positive outcome to a situation. There's like people working in the background. Yeah, the five of wands, the devil, the moon the magician so somebody here there's people doing magic and shit like that to fuck up something that's destined so this person is quiet right now they might not be saying too much to you until they have their plans mapped out until it's like okay i'm ready to take action you know someone could have a capricorn mars so there's there's like three or more people in the background working against a divine plan here so this person i don't feel like they're playing games with you I don't. I feel like they're just quiet because they know that there's people trying to stop them. There's troublemaking here. The Knight of Cups in reverse because there's people that have lost an opportunity with this person or whatever. Somebody that wanted money with materialistic here. 
and they're moving away. This person is free. Nine of Pentacles, this is you. Somebody is free, they're independent, they're moving on and they're quiet. This could be a partnership coming in between you and your person here where things are going to be done as a team. You and your person are going to give equal give and take to each other. Um, you guys have a lot of ideas here. You guys match each other's vibe. Your energy matches. So there's a chance to, to, to renew something between you and this person. I just feel like there's a need to keep it quiet. Some sort of like commitment is coming in between you and this person. What's the... And it's going to be quiet or private like it should be because there's a lot of people working against y'all using magic and whatever the fuck else. What's the five of cups? The chariot. Cancer energy. So somebody is mad that someone has left. Okay, someone could be traveling, moving. But this chariot talks about a, a balance with masculine and feminine energies as well as um, determination, willpower. Someone could have had to give up a car or sell a car here in order to get more money in their pocket to finally move somewhere or do something different, right? It's like you it's like you have to like bet on yourself, okay? Bank on yourself here. You might have to do something like crazy to get where you need to be, but it's not crazy. It's going to lead you to wherever you need to be at. Someone is mad because someone is leaving their free and someone now is balanced or they're going to going into a partnership that's going to be balanced here. Yeah, this talks about, you know, love wins in the end, period. The love for themselves, the love for you, whatever it is, it's, it's, you know. So someone here is sad, or this person, or you could be sad about, you know, just look, looking back at the past, grieving it, mourning it, doing what you have to do, but steady moving forward. But I feel like this is somebody else, because you're, you're triumphing here, you're winning, so. <laughs> What's the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, the moon. Yeah, somebody is quietly getting their money back together. That's what they're doing. They're building. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Yep, they're quietly claiming their independence and their freedom. Somebody is working on their money big time. Somebody is hiding out too. They're, they're not nowhere to be found right now. They're somewhere else. What's the moon? Or someone is, what's the moon? Yep, three of swords. Yeah, they're heartbroken. There's third parties and shit like that. Heartbroken or whoever, somebody's ex, whatever the fuck. Yeah, the tower, the wheel, and the fool. <laughs> Somebody is leaving, honey. They is doing the right thing, too. Someone could have a Libra Saturn. Yeah, this is somebody here. They're not playing about their independence and their freedom. Somebody has finally broken free from something. And these third parties are, are secretly heartbroken, spying, strategizing, all that. And they can't seem to find this person. Good, bitch. Good. Good. We tired of you hoes. <laughs> like, for real. Someone could be seeing 333. You could be seeing 333. Let's get an Oracle card for these type of form. This deck is called the Wild Muse. Fifty-one rehabilitation. I told you somebody here completed rehab with the six of cups in reverse therapy, counseling, rehab, or something like that. I don't know. Or this could just be a time of just like um, renewing yourself, like getting your energy and things together here, cleansing your aura, purging things like that. This deck is called the Wild Muse. Okay, I got it from Amazon. Pretty deck. Page fifty-one. Let's see. <laughs> zero fucks given period that's what's after um you know what i was about to say damn that, that uh, page ain't even in here but okay so the, it says the message when this card appears you are being called to look at any addictions in or around your life this could be an addiction that you are well aware of and struggling with such as alcohol drugs nicotine food etc okay yeah Maybe some hidden addictions have been playing you, play, uh, plaguing you, such as being addicted to your phone or emotionally unavailable partners and friends. This card is urging you to consider doing some form of rehabilitation. For an addiction, addiction such as checking your phone, you might be able to 
hold yourself accountable without the help of an expert. However, your need for professional help and support with a phone, addiction, substance abuse, or any other destructive pattern is valid and shouldn't be downplayed. Rehabilitate yourself and get help before entering a deep downward spiral. Engage in activities that feel therapeutic to you each day. Okay, good. So healing. Has your body and mind been through a lot of trauma? Do you sometimes feel so heavy that you wonder how you are even supposed to do basic tasks in your everyday life? This is an early sign of needing to make time and space to rehabilitate the mind, body, and spirit. Whether you've had a traumatic injury or addicted to a behavior or substance or struggle with a mental disorder. Okay. Whether you have had a traumatic injury or addicted to a behavior or substance or struggle with a mental disorder. Healing will take time and space from the things that trigger you into these harmful behaviors, behavioral patterns. Sometimes space means booking a trip to another country or cutting ties with the person who enables you to continue self-destructing. It's essential that you know yourself and set yourself up for a successful rehabilitation process. Look for inspiration in animals and nature to help guide you. Most importantly, follow your intuition on this journey. So this is nice. Somebody is doing the work. I love that for whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, these people wanted to see you self-destruct. They wanted to impede and just come in between your healing process. They didn't want to see you be great. Somebody had to awaken to that. So like I said, I feel like this person is a really good person. They mean well. They have good intentions. I ain't gonna lie. It's just your environment, man. And people that don't want to see you do good. You know, what? Um, give me a, a modern goddess oracle for Cappy. Damn. So we have Kwan Yin. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the artist. So somebody here, because like I said, somebody's definitely very creative. They're an artist. Their whole everything was blocked, I feel. Their finances was blocked because they could not tap in. You know, and, and God is not going to bless you in no, in no mess or with demons. <laughs> it's time for you. It's time for somebody to get away from their ass. Okay. Let's see. So the key word is compassion. Symbols are dragon, vase of healing waters, doves, and pearls. And your affirmation is, I speak compassionately about myself and others. So it says, meet the goddess. Quan Yin is a Chinese Buddhist, Bohistva or something like that. Bohistva of compassion, loving kindness, and mercy. As a mortal, she achieved enlightenment and before entering Nirvana, she heard the cries of suffering from those on earth and vowed not to leave until all humans can release the shackles of misery and reach enlightenment. She carries a vase that contains the dew of compassion, which she uses to heal those in physical pain or seeking spiritual peace. She is the omnipresent mother and extends her unconditional love to all beings, teaching others to do the same. So your divination meaning. Quan Yin has appeared in your reading today as there is a great need for compassion in a current situation or relationship. A heavy-handed approach or tough love is not going to do anything positive. It's time to give healing, empathy, and understanding to someone who is in need. So this could be you. If this is not you going through that rehabilitation process, it's your person. And they need you to be compassionate and caring. All right, it's not a time to beat somebody up. Because I, I don't feel like this person is bad. They're not. <laughs> It'll be different if I've seen this person as a loser. They're not. So, um, and while being compassionate is important, it is also just as important to make sure you don't take on someone else's pain as your own. You can assist someone in healing and lessen their burden, but to not allow it to be placed on your shoulders. So work with Quan Yin. Practice random acts of kindness and compassion. Encourage the people you love while they work on their goals and chant a mantra for healing and compassion for yourself. Okay, so the shadow meaning is you have been sitting on the sidelines and built up a bit of apathy lately, causing you to disconnect from yourself, your feelings, and the divine source around you. You are being called back to connectedness by Quan Yin and reopening your heart to others. We are all one and there is truly no us and them. If you are feeling indifferent about others suffering, it may be time to heal your own suffering. It's time to allow yourself the gift of healing and compassion and to let others know you are suffering. You are not alone and you are worthy of love and healing. Yeah, heal with Quan Yin. Work with heart chakra crystals such as rose quartz, rhodochrosite, and jade. Reach out for help with someone you trust and swim in a lake or ocean to release some emotions and experience water healing. Yeah, somebody's doing that. They were in this shadow period, or this is you. 
this is you. They're now like they're they're now. This is nice, Capricorn. This is really nice. This is definitely looking like maybe it's a masculine here, but it could be a, a woman that just have a lot of masculine energy in their chart. Okay, but this is giving divine masculine. Somebody's divine masculine is they are doing so much better. So let's get some affirmations for you all. For a happy spirit. So it says, I know that worrying only blinds me from the beauty that is all around me. I am not stressing. And I know that it is important to celebrate each win, no matter how big or small. I am celebrating me, period. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, I know that for every door that clo that life closes, a new one opens around the corner. I am optimistic. The star. This is nice. Very positive reading. Yeah, so put down in the comments, I am not stressing and I am celebrating me, period. Even if you feel like it's a little thing, it don't even matter. It was little for other people might be big for you. You feel me? So I am celebrating me and I am not stressing. This is nice, Capricorn. Put that down in the comments. So this was your reading. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post for you. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.